this is Matt Ertz, the Madison County Historian. October is Archives Month, and normally we will be having our Archives Week festivities take place in the county office building. Because of the pandemic, we're not able to do that this year, so we thought we'd go out into the county and show you some of the different archives that exist throughout Madison County. Today we're standing inside the town of Brookfield Historical Society, where you can kind of see almost all their archives are on display throughout this building with some vertical files in the back for researchers. We're going to let Perk Stalter, the town of Brookfield historian, take us on a little tour. Perk, you want to tell us what you got going on here? Okay. Over here, this map shows our 64 burial grounds in the town of Brookfield, five of which are still in operation. This is Myrtilla Minor, who started a school for black girls in Washington, D.C., amid much persecution. This is our little school room within our display room, fourth graders. This is a map that shows the 32 school uh, district one-room schools and their locations in the town. This is the old post office from Leonardsville. If you want to come here for an inexpensive meal, she's out of business now. This is the bicentennial quilt made by ladies of the town of Brookfield. And this is more or less the settlement of Brookfield in this area. This is more or less things that have been in Leonardsville, which is on the east side of our town on Route 8. This shows some of the things to ease women's back-breaking lives, and women's work was never done. This is a poster that shows hops when they were grown here in the town of Brookfield, and we have a resurgence of that right here on Stanbro Road, where they are now growing hops again. This is Carthead's North Brookfield High School baseball uniform, complete with socks and shoes. This is the Giles School. And it was moved here from a field on Giles Road and this whole back part fell apart. So this back has been reconstructed new. But you can see the, sub, the subsiding here, boards that wide. And then this was the original siding of this room here. And when was this school built? 1815. And when kids come here, the girls wear bonnets and the boys wear caps, which they have to take off when they go inside. This uh, school lasted until 1935, and then the town of Brookfield divided up sending students to Waterville, Mount Markham in West Winfield, or staying here in Brookfield. Everything in here is before 1935, and the flag only has 48 stars on it. And we have the inevitable dunce cap, which children want to misbehave so they can sit there. The desks <laughs> came all different and periods we have a topographical time map. map. Hither, thither, and yon. All of a sudden, people donated. This is the original blackboard that was in a barn and was donated when the building came here. Let people know that school's in session. Here we go. If you could join me, one of the things the kids love to do Bill Grogan's goat, sing. Bill Grogan's goat. Was feeling fine. Was feeling fine. Ate three red shirts. Ate three red shirts. Right off the line. Right off the line. Bill took a stick. Bill took a stick. Gave him a whack. Gave him a whack. And tied him to. And tied him to. The railroad track. <laughs> the railroad track. 
The whistle blew. The whistle blew. The train drew nigh. The train drew nigh. Bill Grogan's goat. Bill Grogan's goat. Was doomed to die. Was doomed to die. He gave three groans. He gave three groans. Of awful pain. Of awful pain. Coughed up the shirts. Coughed up the shirts. And flagged the train. <laughs> flagged the train.